My name is Dr. Zenas Yu and I'm an NIHR academic clinical lecturer in dermatology at the University of Manchester. I am the lead author on this study investigating the drug survival of adalimumab, ustekinumab and sucukinumab in patients with psoriasis using data from the British Association of Dermatologists, Biologics and Immunomodulators Register or BADBIR. Why did we do this study? Drug survival or persistence is defined by the duration of time from initiation to discontinuation of therapy and is a proxy marker for effectiveness, safety and tolerability of a drug. Several smaller observational studies have suggested that sucukinumab has a lower drug survival in the real world compared with what is reported in clinical trials. We wanted to investigate the drug survival of sucukinumab and compare this to adalimumab and ustekinumab in patients with psoriasis. We also wanted to identify clinical predictors that may have differential effects in the three different biologic cohorts. How did we do it? We used data from BADBIR, which is a national registry of patients with psoriasis in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland that was set up to investigate the long-term safety of biologic therapies. We calculated the overall drug survival of the three biologic therapies and calculated drug survival stratified by the reason for discontinuation. We then fitted a flexible parametric survival model for drug discontinuation due to ineffectiveness and adjusted for potential predictors we identified from the literature. We tested to see whether these predictors modified the effect between treatment choice and drug discontinuation. What were our main findings? We had 5,542 patients starting on adalimumab, 991 starting on sucukinumab, and 3,118 starting on ustekinumab in our dataset we found that the overall survival function was similar at 88% for both ustekinumab and sucukinumab at one year after initiation, with the survival function lower for adalimumab at 78%, while the predicted drug survival of sucukinumab in the model when adjusted for potential confounders was similar to that of ustekinumab and higher than that of adalimumab. We found that the presence of psoriatic arthritis predicted for survival in the adalimumab and sucukinumab cohorts, but for discontinuation in the ustekinumab cohort. We also found that having had previous exposure to other biologic therapies predicted for discontinuation in the ustekinumab and sucukinumab cohorts, but for survival in the adalimumab cohort. So why is this study relevant to dermatologists and their patients treated with biologic therapies? We found that, contrary to previous studies, sucukinumab had a high drug survival similar to that of ustekinumab in patients with psoriasis, and that both biologics had a higher drug survival compared with adalimumab. However, patients with previous exposure to biologic therapies had a markedly lower drug survival with sucukinumab. This is the reason drug survival for sucukinumab was previously reported to be low from the smaller observational studies as they had included predominantly biologic experienced patients. We also found that psoriatic arthritis had differential effects in the three cohorts. These predictors may help patients and clinicians choose the most appropriate biologic therapy based on the individual patient's characteristics.